Hey guys, it's Woody the Unexceptional Gamer, and please forgive the semi-relevant video while I explain what, to, what you're about to see in terms of a quick tip. So, background. In Call of Duty 4, the way to take out air support was with, uh, you shoot it down, right? And ideally, the team would kind of shoot it down, would go down in a hurry. Now, you could hit it with an RPG, and that was really effective, although in my hands, I missed with that damn RPG all the time. Like, it didn't shoot straight, and the helicopter was too far away, and it didn't stay still. I was much better with an LMG than an RPG for taking down a helicopter. Well, Modern Warfare 2 came along, and uh, at first, you know, us new, all the Modern Warfare 2 noobs, including me, would shoot at, like, um, uh, Harriers with your bullets, and that was just a stupid way. Turn out, Stingers were the only really effective way to take down air support. That was just how you were supposed to do it, and... and you know, that kind of trained me that shooting at helicopters and stuff was stupid. So Black Ops came along, and the same thing was more or less true. Standing around, you know, dumping clip after clip after clip into a helicopter, COD 4 style, just seemed like a really bad idea. You know, you, you didn't get kills that way, you got yourself killed. The helicopter wouldn't go down. Eventually it would, but it was too slow. So um, there's something else, though. These FMG9s... They unleash a thousand rounds per minute. When you run them akimbo, it's two thousand rounds per minute. These things put more lead in the air than any gun that I can think of in Call of Duty history. And that means the helicopters go down like this. Boom. I didn't really think of it. I never really considered it to be a, a valid way to go after a helicopter, right? Like, who would use uh, you know, guns in, in Call of Duty nowadays? But just like these things mow down uh, juggernauts, they're also a really effective way to take out helicopters. So that was the Overwatch, right? And that was kind of an extreme example, right? The Overwatch goes down pretty quickly. It's just really deadly. So if you're running blind eye like I am right here, then, uh, then it shoots out in a hurry. But what about an attack helicopter? An attack helicopter gets a lot more altitude. So let's take a look at that. What you're about to see is a bad example of me taking out an attack helicopter. You'll see I get some bullets there that miss entirely, and I get some bullets that uh, that sort of hit something right in front of me. So it takes me about, I don't know, a clip and a half to take this thing down, but I have, in other games since then, taken it down without reloading and not even up in the sky. It was on interchange. I was just there on the ground. I point my FMG9s up at an attack helicopter, and down the thing goes. So it is possible to take out an attack helicopter with one... You know, I guess I'll say dual clip of uh, of an Akimbo FMG9, or you can, uh, yeah, like me right there, get into your second clip and take it down. But that's still, you know, kind of a hurry. That it's not like you know shooting a Harrier with an assault rifle where you, you, you use every bullet you have. The things go down quickly, and that is really the quick tip that this video is about. However, I thought, you know, just for experiment's sake, let's take a look at how some of the other air support options in Modern Warfare 3 fare against bullets. Now, the Osprey Gunner and the Escort Airdrop both work the same way. They take three Stinger Missiles to take this thing down, which means that you cannot take it down by Stinger Missiles by yourself. Now, if you watch me, I dump two clips of this SMG-9 into it, and then I think it takes about half a clip of this guy right here, and he's done, right? So if your aim was a little bit better, maybe you would have done it without getting into your assault rifle. <laughs> Look at him teabagging me. But um, you know what? This is actually a pretty viable way to go after an Osprey Gunner compare do stinger missiles. You know, three stinger missiles is hard to come by. You have to die. And, or you have to get some team support. But, you know, that thing went down in what? 10 seconds? You know, if you can get a good look at a, at a gunner like that, then you can take him out all by yourself. It's almost as if with these triple flare things, guns are more viable than, um, <laughs> than, uh, stingers are. Sorry, lost my mind. All right. Now we have a Reaper, right? Reapers with this FMG9, at least in my hands, were completely worthless, right? The thing was taking me out all the time, and uh, <laughs> oh my, the guys were cooperating with me. They were killing me while I tried to shoot it. So um, taking out a Reaper with an FMG9 turned out not to really work for me. However, if you can shoot the thing with your bullets, this is what it looks like. Now, as you watch this, keep in mind that a Reaper takes two Stinger missiles to take the thing out, which means that you know a lot of the a lot of them won't even take it down, and uh, and this is me doing it with just bullets alone. So in my first clip, I didn't fully get the job done. Maybe if you had get in every if you had put every uh, bullet on target, you'd have come closer to that. But by the second clip, the Reaper is gone. When you compare that to the effort that it takes to shoot two Stingers. I would argue that they're comparable. I would argue that in Modern Warfare 3, the, the way that Modern Warfare 2 and Black Ops trained us not to take out air support with bullets is kind of out of date because bullets are a lot more effective than I thought they would be. Let's take a look at a Pavlo. 
Now the footage will get moving in a second, but a Pavlo is another one that takes three stingers to take this thing down. So you really need team support just to get it done. And it's also a low flying one, which means that a gun like the FMG9 can get a larger percentage of hits. I did a pretty good job that time. Then um, that, there it is. So it took, I think that finished about halfway through my assault rifle clip. So it took uh, my FMG9 ammo and then half an assault rifle clip. And there it was, the, uh, the, the Pavlo went down all by myself, which I can't do with stingers unless I I kill myself. So really the quick tip in this, the takeaway that I want you guys to know is that in Modern Warfare 3, shooting these things with bullets is a much more viable option than it was based on your Modern Warfare 2 and Black Ops training. If like me, you really got turned off from standing there shooting at the sky like a fool, then you know what? Turn yourself back onto it. Think about your COD 4 days if you started back then, because now shooting air support with bullets is not as bad as you might think. And uh, I hope you guys learned something from the video and have a nice day. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to give it a like and uh, click on subscribe if you haven't already done so in the top right corner. Two videos you may have missed. The top one are my thoughts about the Brock Lesnar versus Overeem fight. It was a really big deal in the MMA world and uh, it kind of shook me a little bit, so I decided to do a commentary right on the spot. The bottom one is a quick tip like this one on how to run 10% faster. Surprise video on the right. Links to t-shirts, Facebook, and Twitter in the description. Follow me, baby, and uh, have a nice day.